We're doing another improvement progression clinic this weekend. This weekend is the jump clinic. This episode will be a little bit like the advanced clinic episode. I'm gonna teach a little bit on jump theory, but most of it's just tagging along and seeing what our day looks like. There's so many little tips and tricks that I've learned about jump building over the years, and I'm stoked to share that knowledge with guys at this clinic. These little tips and tricks are the difference between getting injured or having a phenomenal day on the mountain. Little things like making sure your in run lines up with your jump and making sure it's smooth, that goes a long ways to keeping a guy safe. You want to be lined up well before you're getting into the throttle. You want to make sure you're ready to commit. You commit and carry consistent speed through the whole thing. You let off as your lit as your ski tips are leaving um, the top here. <clears throat> You shouldn't have to use much throttle, but you can use brake or throttle to control your pitch and use throttle as you land. That's another thing I've seen guys like try to bail and they go back away from the sled. The sled lands and they come down on top of it and they're so much worse off than if they just stayed with it. You're going to be like 12 inches out of the foot well, standard neutral position. Whatever feels good going down a rough trail is going to be the position you should be in for hitting a jump. I still always ride with my finger on the brake through the whole jump. No matter how hard the landing is going to be, my finger always stays there. You hating on me, it's not adding up. Told it if it's all me, everything is on me, go and back it up. Matter what, told you I'm going to do me, why you hating on me, it's not adding up. How'd you feel getting in the air? Very good, very good. Beautiful day, a little burn, what more can you ask for? That's the first shovel jump I've ever hit. Couldn't be more happy just out here learning and progressing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm having a blast. I think it's really good intro. Uh, it's low consequence, so everyone can kind of get the feel of coming in, carrying speed, rolling off the jump, and they can make mistakes and learn how to correct that. <laughs> It was a pretty clean bow tie. It worked out. Worked out a little bit. More practice and yeah, dude. We'll get her dialed. the Proven Progression Jump Clinic. Today we're building two jumps, another beginner jump, kind of like yesterday, and then an advanced jump. The beginner jump is a tabletop. It'll take about 20 feet to clear it and make the sweet spot. And this advanced jump's pushing 60 feet to the sweet spot, uh, maybe 80, kind of depending on um, where the lip ends up being. The guys are shoveling it out right now, and it should be a good uh, learning opportunity. Uh -huh. 